guys, it's Easter and we're making traditional Bulgarian Easter eggs to celebrate and we are going to show you how to make your own. First, we're going to add the eggs into warm water and boil them until they're hard boiled. We need to prepare the paint for the eggs. We have four bowls here filled with hot water and four packets of paint, one for each color. Blue, yellow, red and green. You can buy edible paint from most Bulgarian and Turkish shops just before Easter. We're going to stir the paint powder in now until it looks perfect. Now we're going to add two tablespoons of vinegar in each bowl to ensure that the paint sticks to the eggs. It also gives them a nice shine afterwards. Make sure you stir as well again. So two tablespoons there, two tablespoons in the red. Stir and repeat for all balls. Now we can finally start painting. We're going to paint the first egg in a simple manner just by dipping it in one colour, red. I'm going to leave it in the paint for about 5 to 10 minutes to make sure that the paint is properly soaked into the egg shell. We want to make things more interesting now, so um, we're going to use some um, leaves that we picked up in the garden earlier. Um, and what you would do is you would put the leaf on top of the egg and using a liquor sock or part of tights or liquor socks, you put the sock on top of the egg like this to make sure that the sock keeps the leaf in place. You need to make sure that the sock is stretched really, really tight on top of the egg to allow for the paint to penetrate the sock and get to the skin of the egg or to the shell of the egg. You tighten it until your egg looks like a bank robber. Then we're going to actually tighten the back with elastic or some sort of thread until the sock is properly kept in place. Our bank robber sock, an egg, and he's going down in the blue. Okay, now we're going to do my favorite method of painting eggs, which is using some cotton pads. So, what you do is you would place about four cotton pads on top of some kitchen paper and you would add different colors, drops of different colors paint onto the cotton pads. The aim here is that the four cotton pads are covered with paint or covered in paint in order to have color all over the egg that we are actually going to insert in, in there, wrapping it in this colored cotton pads and setting it aside for later on after the colors have soaked in. So let's see how that goes. Okay, I think that's a bit too much blue. Maybe I need a bit more red because we want it to be properly colored in. Really nice 
and Corfu bursting of color in fact maybe some more yellow and now we need to put the egg in wrap it around try not to miss any part of the egg that is not covered so try to cover the whole of the egg either with cotton buds or with tissue. Wrap it around right, squeeze it in a bit to make sure that the cotton buds are properly stuck to the egg, giving their full color to the egg. And then set it aside for about 10 minutes. We started taking the eggs out and drying them. So now we're down to the last egg in the bowl. So let's see how it turned out. And here is our final rubber egg. Hmm. Slightly smudged but it kind of looks like a face, don't you think? Now, let's unwrap those colorful packages. Let's see what happened to them. Here comes the first one. Here it is. It is quite colorful. But the colors could be a bit stronger than this so maybe we had more luck with the other ones let's have a look at the other ones so i'm going to put this away and i'm going to unwrap the second one and finally the final surprise really is a surprise, I can't find the egg. And here it is. As you can see, the most colorful areas, or rather the strongest colors, are the areas where the cotton pad had most contact with the egg. You can actually see the cotton pad's edge over here. So maybe you'll be even luckier than me and be able to um, make the cotton pads really stick into the egg and covering the full um, surface of the egg completely to get all those nice colors in and no actual um, original egg color. Don't be afraid if your hands look like the towels. They will wash off in a few hours. 